So welcome, uh, welcome, Mr. Nagasami Dhanapalan. Alex. Hi. So uh, thanks a lot for joining us. So I'll just give a brief start to the webinar, and um, then I'll introduce you, and then we will get it get it going. Yeah. So this is the funding masterclass by Nagasami Dhanapalan. It's also not just a funding master masterclass, but he'll share with us some, his brand journey and his journey. Uh, welcome, uh, welcome, Mr. Nagasami Dhanapalan. I think there's some lag. Shakti, you can put your uh, mic on mute. Yeah. So this uh, platform is presented by Madras Management Association, over 12,000 members. It's one of the best management associations in India. And Retail Association of India, which is the official body that represents retail in India. And Rainmakers and Blue Koi as well. We have other partners who have partnered with us to take, bring this forward, which includes Picky Flow, Your Story, Head Start, CK Angels, uh, SPI, 50K uh, Ventures, and MSMEX. Uh, thanks to all partners for making this possible. So we've done a series of webinars. We've done uh, building strong brands. We're doing Go Digital tomorrow, which is basically taking small businesses online. Next week, we are doing a venture funding uh, webinar. Post that, we are doing a franchise your brand webinar. So these are the uh, series of webinar courses which are certified by RAI and MMA that we are bringing to you over a period of next one month during the lockdown. So there have been some good testimonials for this platform from various people. So just sharing that with you. So the next webinar is on Saturday, which is a free webinar, which is uh, a future of FNB business where uh, the popcorn boy of Chennai, Bavesh, and uh, Sandy of Sandy's Chocolate Lab, Lab will join us. So that's on Saturday at 12 p.m. So in case you guys haven't registered, you can register. So today's uh, webinar topic is obviously with uh, Nagasami Dhanapalan, and uh, I will start off with a brief introduction uh, to the speakers. Uh, people who are new to this uh, particular platform, just a quick introduction about myself. I am the founder of WhatsApp Laundry, one of the India's pioneers in laundry space, started about nine years back. So, uh, you know, I'm about, uh, I have about 20 years of experience in the retail industry in business transformation and working with retail and consumer businesses. So I've been involved with uh, leading brands like High Design, uh, Your Story, Naturals, and uh, Talapakati also. So we'll share a bit of that story as well. I'm a council member of uh, RAI, Retail Association, Association of India, and um, you know been involved with RAI activities uh, over the last eight years. Yes, we have the you know star of the show, Mr. Nagasami Dhanapalan. So we like to, it's very um, difficult for me to call him Nagasami because he's also known as Satish in friend circles. So we call him Satish. So I'll continue. I'll take the liberty to call him Satish during the interview. So um, he's of course the MD of uh, the legal Talapakati, and uh, he's a third generation entrepreneur. Uh, he's at the ten years ten years at the helm of the uh, of this brand. He has taken it from one restaurant to seventy restaurants now. Uh, widely seen as a leader in F&B industry, very reserved, doesn't talk much, doesn't come out. So I think one of the times that uh, he's agreed to get on board to have a chat and uh, uh, he has professionalized and modernized the legacy brand. So that's what we are going to hear today. And he has gone on to partner with uh, one of the leading investors in India called CX Partners. So we'll, we'll hear all, all of the story. So, uh, and for the benefit of the audience, a lot of people who have joined in from Tamil Nadu, we'll do English and a bit of Tamil as well. So please pardon us if you have, uh, you know, we, we suddenly start off on Tamil. So we will do a Tanglish kind of a, you know, chat session today. So uh, just for the, you know, benefit of the viewers, this is a funding masterclass and we, are, you know, tomorrow we are having a Go Digital, as I told you. So for all the attendees today who are attending this masterclass, they'll get a special prize of 1499. We'll share the link with you. And next week, we have the venture funding, which is actually 2999, which will also be for today's attendees at 1499. So that also we'll share with you. So I will now move to his sharing his presentation. One second. I hope it's uh, visible. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, um, so we start off with the talk. Uh, we have a small presentation from Satish himself, which he'll do. And post that, I'll I have a few questions for him. Then we'll take questions from the audience. So let's keep it very interactive. Um, we have participants growing. So I want all of you to say a quick hi to Satish. Uh, you can type in your chat box. 
hi satish welcome to the show and uh, also you can kind of leave a message to him congratulating him for the great journey that you uh, he's had over the years so over to you satish i'm um, starting the presentation now and we can you know start off from here i'll move the slides as you tell yeah over hi bala thanks for uh, uh, calling me for this webinar this is my first uh, webinar uh, meet a little yeah. bit of tense and scared <laughs> <laughs> so uh, pardon me everyone if any mistakes when i talk uh, because it's my uh, first uh, show uh, yeah you can move to next slide uh, yeah uh, that's me uh, my name is uh, naga samita napalan i am a third uh, entrepreneur third generation entrepreneur from dindikal uh, uh, this slide bro Yeah, Dindigal is a, a small town. Uh, most of the people in, in Tamil Nadu know about Dindigal, uh, but it's a small town in near Madurai. Uh, I finished my schooling from first standard to plus two in Dindigal, so I was a last bencher always uh, in, in studies also uh, in uh, playing. Uh, so I like I love to play much, not a, a bookworm. So I love to mingle with friends and play around. uh i whenever i finish my after my finishing my studies i used to join my father uh, regularly to my strength uh, i used to see uh, people you know having our tasty biryani and a super ark and the biryani i been told that you know i'll get some happiness within me you know okay somehow we have to uh, at that time i felt i have to be in this business you know saaptone or kashtam and sandoshatha vandu paathone that as uh, so that satisfaction you won't get in any business that's why i uh, i want to do this uh, uh, dendigal talapagiti as a business itself mara so in a way you grew up with uh, dendigal talapagiti biryani and so that's the picture of your granddad satish are you there in this picture in here king la no uh, this is uh, my grandfather uh, my uh, before uh, i was born my grandfather was demised so how this restaurant got the name itself you can see as a picture uh, used to wear a turban and sit in the cash counter before we were having the name as ananda vilas as a uh, restaurant name uh, used to sit in the cash counter with wearing turban so because uh, we, uh, uh, every people who comes to uh, our restaurant looking at his image they change the brand name as talapagati naidu so after his demise uh, <coughs> from um, 1972 we call this uh, restaurant as a uh, dindigal talapagati nadu so the from ananda vilas it changed to dindigal talapagati thanks satish shall i move to the next slide yeah please so as i told you i was more interested in uh, 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 in restaurant industry my father won't push me to be in uh, doing my engineering as a graduation but i don't want to study uh, engineering so and <clears throat> i wanted to study a bachelor of hotel and, uh, management in mangalore that's how uh, i went to mangalore i studied in sarov institute of hotel administration uh, so th those time uh, uh, hotel management was not considered as education but still you know weetla sonna hotel management padikina hotel management abnu onnu kepanga so that time the education was not much uh, happening and uh, valued uh, on the system that time so right so uh, during hotel management i studied more on uh, service industry production industry uh, uh, mo mostly into uh, kitchen side i was into so i used to keep uh, in, in, uh, inviting sorry inventing new menus into uh, my uh, even i was uh, leading a preparation class also over there in my uh, uh, during my college days there i learned a little bit in the and english that uh, uh, so uh, tamil nadu grappa uh, i was not much into english so after coming to mangalore i started learning english and hindi that's my uh, good thing that i went and joined the college then it is more of understanding ba ba basic ethic of uh, food, food industry the bachelor of hotel management administration is super satish next so, so yeah so after my study uh, my father called uh, me and uh, chalon you have to do uh, you have to take care of the business that chalon he said no i said please i want to do something else uh, because i trained uh, myself in touch a few of the uh, 
uh, five star hotels and i don't want to go back to dindikal because uh, my lifestyle has started being more of a urban uh, style so i don't want to so i i thought let me go to push myself to go to london so uh, i finished my msc or oh, i went to join the msc hotel ma management over there uh, and there i worked for uh, uh, kfc also i worked for uh, mcd also there i used to work as housekeeping uh, from housekeeping to back end so that's how they promote yourself uh, you you have to be in housekeeping then you have to be in cashier then you have to be in production department that is kitchen department and uh, then you can be a manager so i came till shift manager it it was my part time work during those time that time i learned about uh, how they maintain the kitchen how uh, uh, what all the safety safety standards they use in the kitchen uh, before that we were using only wooden uh, bricks for cooking uh, you know uh, during my father's day also we were using wooden uh, charcoal uh, to cook biryani and make other items there i uh, know okay this all the methods we can prepare even biryani in our home town so the, there i got the knowledge and uh, even the branding also how mcd has done the branding and how the kfc has branding that helped me to implement those into my business and that's that gave me a big idea on creating uh, india an answer to mcdonalds and kfc in a way satish uh, for you uh, that ima imagine that a small uh, business uh, restaurant business out of dindical can grow big was your london days right you used to tell me always that you know um, yeah and uh, westerners mari nam yen panna koodadhu yen or mcdonalds mari nam oorla yen or brand irukku koodadhu that was always your motivation right so the seeds were sown in during your london days early 20s yes yes those were uh... because i love my grandfather so i want my grandfather logo to be in everywhere so that gave uh, the inspiration to uh, bring in this brand otherwise if you don't love your grandfather <laughs> so uh, more than a brand more than uh, anything my grandfather picture has to be in everywhere like kfc uh, grandfather you know tata so that uh, that's how we get inspired by other brands awesome so again here uh, my father you know enada chalo why you are going to uh, chennai be uh, take care of the business itself or you want to take a uh, risk and go to chennai so in a valley thirilla there is no other way i have to come to chennai the only reason i have to be in chennai is to have if have a family in chennai that's why i got married to a chennai girl otherwise ulla illa na oor la inga che kalayam ni vechirpanga apdi madriyo dindikuliyo settle aayirukka soolna la vandirukom that kind of uh, uh, you know the upbringing of my dad was very strict uh, so when i got a chance to get married to a chennai girl her name is tipika and uh, after getting married then uh, you have to tell to dad uh, dad will ask you what you are going to do now so the next step is after getting married i told my dad listen dad i got married in, uh, in chennai i want to settle here because deepika is not want uh, deepika is not willing to come so i blamed Yeah, uh, Deepika name into that. So somebody, I, I can't tell my dad that uh, I I I don't I don't want to come. You know that uh, when Deepika's name is brought in, then you can you know the you can take you can be escaped in that way. So that's how uh, first restaurant we started in 2009 in Nananagar. And I I, I also felt uh, this uh, kind of food. uh when uh, i was there in 6 to 7 months before that i was not there i was not brought and brought up here so i i don't know how the people uh, behave on food culture because most of the people here they are not used to the traditional method of uh, cooking village food so i thought why can't we bring this village food to uh, chennai that's how you know the thinking starts sati you used to tell the story you know when we went to ask your dad you can share with us with that <laughs> sorry bola L lorry story yeah 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 lorry story okay this uh, this i didn't come from in the lorry so actually <laughs> this lorry was uh, used the, the we actually we sold around 2 to 3 lorries which were used in my farm house and uh, uh, to start this business so financially we were tight uh, because uh, it's a new brand and people not helping us even uh, if i go to the banks uh, they were asking me who you are so that's why we sold this lorry to get to this business yes. 
So after coming uh, to Chennai, uh, so I've seen uh, most um, uh, the most of the restaurants which is serving uh, biryani is more of basmati, and namolo solvang is the boy style biryani. So it is like a boy style kind of biryani. And if you go walk around every place of the, the restaurant, uh, even if you go to Triplican or if you go walk around, there was no, you know, for biryani joints, there's no enough uh, decent ambience where family can come and sit. So I want to bring in the change where uh, the biryani restaurant can um, you know, bring in the family. So I, des I designed my restaurant uh, so that family and the uh, family and the, they can bring their friends also and enjoy the biryani. That's, that's the concept which I, want to have from the start also. Otherwise, I, can, I would have started with a normal restaurant like uh, any other people would have done, but I, I was very strict. Even I spent more money on that when I initially started. It was around 1.5, uh, 1.25 CR when I uh, initially put in money for my first restaurant. And it is totally, uh, uh, you know, uh, the way I, I was there for uh, three months, it was uh, four months sitting in the restaurant, sleeping in the restaurant before it uh, took off. That, that stage I was. Then uh, during those times, uh, people uh, <coughs> uh, want me to uh, serve a basmati biryani, but I was uh, stuck with the core. You know, I want to serve only uh, my uh, my uh, Uru biryani, that's Dindigal biryani, village biryani, and don't change the, you know, it is from my grandfather, and uh, I don't want to change the recipe uh, because if people like it, they will refer some friends. That's how uh, Talapakit has grown, by referral. It's more of referral. So people once started liking it, they uh, went and told their friends. That's how from Basmati culture to uh, Siraga Samba has changed in uh, 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 Chennai. Most of the biryani now, they started serving Siraga Samba rice. Bala? Yeah. Uh, So uh, everything starts with a brand name. So even I faced uh, uh, the, so I faced the problem, a lot of problem, because when I started in 2009, there were around 150 restaurants named the Dindical Telapakati, carrying my logo with different Tata in it, different grandfather in it, with having a turban, and it's called the Dindical Telapakatu, Telapakatu, uh, something. Uh, so, so so many restaurants were there. But uh, God's grace, uh, we filed a case in 2010 and we got a positive verdict in 2013. And we went till Supreme Court to the, uh, get this brand name uh, registered under us. Now it belongs to us. I'm really, really happy. I have to thank God to get this brand name. This was, in a way, you got, got it back, right? I mean, what you had, people had given you actually. The, the, the Talapakati was a name given by people. and. Then everybody started using and you had to fight to get it back. So um, during this time, uh, how did you feel when, you know, identity, you're working on an identity which is not there, yet trying, uh, yet trying to establish a unique identity. So how was this phase? And also tell us a little bit about how you created this logo. Yeah, this uh, the logo was created in 2009. One of my friends, uh, Mr. Rajkumar, did it. So I oh, actually uh, copied uh, on KFC, but... Uh, could not copy properly. So I got in this logo. <laughs> Somehow I got this logo. So people uh, uh, now, uh, this logo is uh, becoming a brand, you know, for uh, biryani itself. When people uh, think about biryani, even Madurai, if you could travel to Coimbatore or Southern region, this logo has uh, been considered as biryani logo kind of thing. So I'm really happy to bring this logo. And as Bala, when, see, when you're growing in the stage, uh, I don't know how many people have faced this problem, but I have faced a lot of problem because my uh, dish is not well known in this uh, Chennai market because we use Sira Samba rice and uh, we we cook in different uh, method. You know, the, uh, the dam is here, it's different what Urla, Angapandra, Dham, Lame Kondo, different album. So, to, the, one, bringing this logo, second, uh, this uh, taste, whether it, it can attract a Chennai customer. The third is what I feel this, fighting for this uh, logo, <clears throat> fighting for this trademark. When you grow, uh, again, you have to uh, lose uh, some money from your pocket. Nearly I have spent around 1.5 crores and I, it is stressed out, you know, uh, looking after taking care of the business also, taking fighting against these people also, you know, 
I'm doing both the stuff. It's really, you know, those th- days are a little bit stressful days. God gave me strength to do it. So I have to thank God for that. Super, sir. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, uh, what, after we came to Chennai, what we did, that, uh, that is a disruption in Chennai. So uh, when uh, Biryani market is seen as a small market, so uh, as soon as we came in, a lot of people started uh, copying the, the way our style is. So as you see in the picture, uh, this is our restaurant, one of the restaurants in uh, Shanti Kalni. So if you go to any other uh, restaurant, it is more of a casual dining with uh, great ambience where family can come and dine in. And uh, still we didn't change. People try to change us, but we were very uh, strict with uh, uh, in the, our core product is Siraga Samba Biryani. We still don't want to change. Uh, and marketing also, if you speak about marketing, I have done a lot of uh, marketing advertisement in uh, television, even in fa- Facebook. Every day there is an update in Facebook, every day there is an update in Twitter, every day there is an update in Instagram. There will be every day there is a, I, what directly I speak to customer. Uh, even COVID also, we are uh, uh, we are talking more on the COVID, how, to, uh, how customer has to take precautions before coming into the restaurants or being at home. How, how, so a lot of uh, COVID uh, 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 thing is going on uh, within Facebook. And here, what I did is, uh, most of the uh, uh, restaurants, only chef, chef will control the uh, uh, restaurant. Here, uh, you, you can be a manager or you can be a owner. Here, a chef uh, will control the business. So I made the recipe. Every menu uh, is being standardized process where chef is not required. So that's what we call bomb. It's a bill of material, which is every dish has a gram, every dish has a program for it. And uh, this, uh, I bought in, uh, see, from transferring your business uh, from your grandfather to your father and what all the changes you brought in. I have brought in, uh, for so I will take care of only the uh, uh, business development and operation. There is a different department who will take care of like professionals I got in. I bought in accounts department, I bought an HR department, which is basically required for uh, running a, uh, a proper uh, uh, chain of restaurant. If thought these people, professional people, you can't achieve anything. You can't run your show thinking you're the boss. You have to allow them to do their work. Otherwise, you, you can't establish yourself. Yeah, Bala, this are the, I know uh, most of the people know about our fruit, but uh, uh, these are the hero of our uh, uh, Talapakati, uh, you know. So as you said, uh, our uh, biryani is uh, from 1957. It's a boneless mutton biryani, uh, which we serve in our Siraga Samba rice. So if you go to Chennai or if you go travel down any of the place in, uh, I bet everybody will be serving with uh, bone. Uh, this is. Actually, our biryani, specialty biryani is a boneless because uh, one incident which happened uh, in our restaurant, the kid uh, just bit a bone and the, it, it, the blood got coming from uh, his mouth. So from that day, I, I decided, so from now onwards, we are going to change everything into boneless. Uh, that's our specialty now. It became a specialty. People are willing to pay for that. And if you serve bone, uh, if you serve bone, people will come and kill you. So it's like that. So we are famous for uh, Sira Samba boneless biryani. Uh, and spices, what we use is ungrounded. Still uh, 30 women are working in Vindical to get the spices done for uh, what all spices we used in different uh, different uh, dishes. And still we use our, uh, still we use leaf plate. Still we don't uh, use, uh, still, still we use a leaf plate to serve our biryani or any other dishes. Even fried rice is served in uh, our uh, leaf plate. If guest request, then only we uh, change to uh, uh, proper white plate, you know. And uh, next dish is Tipuri lollipop. Is our I thought white lollipop is only in Chinese dishes. Uh, so I, I want this lollipop to be in uh, southern si- style, Indian, Indian spiced uh, manner. So that's the dish which is liked by most of the customers. That's Tipuri lollipop. And my, the highlight of the, another dish is Karandia omelette. People know about Karandia omelette. We gave a stuffed uh, Karandia omelette, like stuffed chicken, stuffed uh, mutton into it. And uh, and we didn't leave even Arabian dishes also. 
where uh, we introduced after me going to Nando's, I thought, why can't we get this peri-peri chicken into our uh, food? So that's how we got in this peri-peri uh, chicken. This peri-peri chicken has been a huge hit among the, the loyal customer of mine. So, uh, Satish, in this, I ask, want to ask you uh, one more. You're very good at naming dishes. Uh, name, yeah. like pre puri lollipop or, uh, you know, two, three other dishes. Kalkoli, chicken porcha. Uh, so, this is a new name, traditional dindical mutton curry, mutton columbi. So, this are all the names which, uh, uh, if you think about porata, we have this, uh, instead of kotu porata, we will call as uh, uh, something else. Uh, but I forgot the name, Bala, sorry. <laughs> I'll let you know. On... So next time you are at uh, Talapakati, check out the names. Watch out for the uniqueness, what he calls a regular dish. is It's actually... Uh, Arei Koli Purata. Sorry. Sorry. I remember now. Arei Koli Purata. Say that. So this all the marketing and branding. Uh, so I, as I spoke about the branding, uh, we are the number one uh, restaurant brand in Tamil Nadu to bring in uh, an actor uh, to be a brand ambassador. That's Mr. Sarakumar has been a, a brand ambassador of uh, our uh, advertisement. So once that uh, we spend a lot in this uh, branding, uh, always the phase is necessary to promote yourself in, you know, tier one, tier two, tier three cities. If you want tier one, it's okay. When you attract tier two and attract tier three cities, you should need a, a very familiar brand face, you know. So that's why I bought in Sarat Kumar. Once this uh, uh, ad uh, got released, it, it has been hit in uh, tier three cities also. People, even a child in, from tier three cities knows the positive brand. So it, it has reached so much, you know. Uh, way to down south. And next, and what we see is, as you see in the picture, my grandfather is, we did an, uh, now I want to bring in a grandfather uh, live. He's no more, but as I love my grandfather, I want to be, uh, I want to bring him alive. So my second ad was animation ad, and that is a theme OT, Pasang OT ad. I think most of the people will uh, remember the, even the li lyrics, that uh, lyrics were done by Mr. Kati, a singer, Sorry, uh, Vairamutu Sun, Kati and uh, singer uh, Kati. So it, even that ad became a huge uh, hit, more than Sarathumar ad. So he became a brand ambassador now of Talapakati. And even uh, third also we did with the uh, animation ad. So a lot of innovation idea which I had for, normally uh, people don't try on animation, but I want to try on animation side also. So anyway, it clicked. I like to thank two people in this. One, Mr. Shiva from Koyambato and Azam from, uh, he is the creator, writer and everything. So thanks Azam and Shiva for bringing out the, the super bad for us. So, uh, during this, uh, so I got calls from a lot of uh, fans from, no, not fans, customers uh, across the world. Uh, I got a call uh, even from South Africa, from and uh, Dubai to start a restaurant in uh, those places. So first, uh, I want to start in some place where you know a brand can establish. Always, if you go into retail industry, they prefer their brand to be in Paris. So that's how we got into Paris. Uh, still, we are very successful running a restaurant in Paris. It is in Gardino, uh, Paris. Then, then slowly uh, we expanded uh, within the five years of period, uh, six years of period. We even we launched here also many restaurants in tier two cities, tier three cities also, Madurai, Coimbatore, till 2015. Then I have, uh, we have been awarded as uh, best biryani, pride of Tamil Nadu. And uh, I think award will come in later stage. And uh, that's the award. Awarded as the best biryani of Tamil Nadu, pride of Tamil Nadu by round table, customer excellence award of, by images. Times Biryani uh, Restaurants Award. So still there is a lot more to achieve. So, so next step, okay. The next step is about uh, fundraising. Uh, I think uh, in uh, South India, we are the largest uh, restaurant brand which has been uh, raised their uh, funds. Uh, uh, so I think Bala can put in some words on this. 
uh, because he joined me before three years back uh, for this, and he can take up on this little bit. So Satish, I think um, yeah, since it's also a fundraising masterclass, we'll dwell a little bit on this slide. So uh, yeah. I met you three three and a half years back because you know I saw your growth and the way you are doing it and remarkably moving a heritage brand into a acceleration mode. Right. Uh, the first uh, reaction was for, from you was saying, uh, "Will they give funding? You think it's possible?" and uh, I don't think it's possible. That's what you said. And you said, Apram Pakla, we'll see later and all that. So there was, then we were in touch for a year or something like that. Uh, I think during that time, you continue to grow as well. Uh, but we kept seeing the plus and minuses of funding and kept discussing and stuff like that. But somewhere, I always felt that you had this, you know, uh, drive in you to professionalize and move it to the next level, right? And, uh, and suddenly, I think uh, it was in 2016 that you, called and said, uh, Siri, we are ready, we'll go for funding. What made the decision for you to, you know, go in for uh, funding? Yeah, Bala, actually, uh, see, I got my, uh, there are so many people approached uh, when I uh, touched my 50 crores. Uh, when I, I touched my 100 crores, there are a few people who wants to invest in my business. But uh, I made sure that uh, I want to establish myself, myself before, uh, uh, you know, getting into this. So I, I, I made sure that we, are, we will achieve 200 crores of turnover before going into anything. And second thing, I want to establish in a different state. At present, we are in Bangalore. And we, I want to present in more, more of the, uh, um, most of the countries which uh, uh, we want to be in uh, before this. So once I have completed all this, now when, when the, I have seen the chance of growing it more. So uh, now if I want to think of how, how much I can grow, I can uh, nearly uh, next five years. I can be in 250 uh, 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 restaurant. I can make 250 restaurants in different uh, countries. So there is a lot of opportunity for us to go. So how this opportunity I have identified by expanding so many places, and people are still calling us. So see, business needs funding. So uh, why uh, you have to constrain yourself when your business can grow. So that's how. Uh, that's why I want this investor to come in and fund my business. And they also have an opportunity for them to grow also. But Satish, in an area, many of uh, family-run and promoter-driven businesses don't think like that. So they see, if we have an equity, it's almost like equivalent to going and pawning you know, house jewels. That's yeah. the way we look at it, right? We are giving our name, we are giving all our hard work. Uh, somewhere, how did you be able to make that change, uh, you know, Yes, you have been exposed internationally, you, you were well-educated and traveled. So, but how did you make that change that, yes, I can bring in outsiders into my family business? No, I always think that there should be two brains uh, working for a uh, uh, business. Uh, if one brain uh, works, uh, other brain can plan. So for my business, uh, if you think about uh, business only, I am the, the front runner. And the, if I look at back, there's nobody running behind me. So I keep uh, say, I, and now somebody is there to advise me. Uh, there's no one to advise me. And uh, uh, now I have an advisor. I have a proper board. You know, there is some someone uh, like a father. Uh, my father is not uh, no more. Um, father who can advise me, okay, you're going in a wrong path. You have to take, uh, take a different path. And uh, somebody you can analytically tell the data. So do, when you are an entrepreneur and you're doing your own business, professional people get scared to come into your uh, industry or your, you know, into your business. When somebody, if, if, when an investor is there, people, uh, you know, like to come because even they feel they are secured, right? So the so uh, so I want professional people to come in and uh, give us a data, give us more into. Uh, you now I have a CFO who's giving uh, lots of information what I uh, which I was not knowing before, you know. So every uh, week we have an operational meeting. A lot of things I'm learning from them. And uh, the partner who is present with me is a CX partner who they, uh, they are invested with uh, uh, Barbecue Nation and uh, uh, Samara Capital, KFC and uh, Pizza. So they know the tactics of business. They can, implement, they can get those ideas and bring into my business. Uh, that's why I want to go into uh, funding, Bala. So, main reason is that yeah. you can tell a lot of reason. The main reason is, you know, you can I can concentrate one particular thing is product development and, uh, you know, uh, I can uh, travel uh, all around the world, bring in new technology. This all uh, I can do now. 
before that I, I i could not able to do it so satish i think uh, you know when we started off this fundraise journey right uh, you know many things were against us first of yeah. all many people in uh, tamil nadu or south itself in fnb have tried, had tried raising funds they were yeah. not able to uh, mm. their books were not properly clean or they were not able to uh, come uh, as per the due diligence what uh, was required and uh, there is no heritage brand that's been in fnb space there, of course dominos and you know all the modern brands have raised funds but as a yeah. heritage brand nobody stays raised and in non veg category nobody is raised so you all the things were stacked against you so mm. of course i came and told you yes we can raise but what made you think that it's possible by us what was the confidence that you had that see from day one i learned my lessons from my dad uh, who doesn't uh, show the accounts you know the day one uh, you, you you learn bad things and good things from your uh, your dad your uh, grandfather and everything so i have learned few bad things which my father did not bad things uh, not ethical way out business friends so from day one my accounts my accounts were clear the from day one i want every system to be followed from day one i want process to be followed uh, i did from day one i want uh, 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 professional professional to run this business so different department that's why i got in different departments to come inside you know most of our restaurant doesn't have this department it's a department of accounts department you can talk about anything uh, i'm talking about even a big people uh, running a restaurant that doesn't have uh, this kind of uh, professional people coming in and doing the business people are scared of coming uh, professional people are scared of coming into a uh, business run by entrepreneur that is simple you can go anywhere and ask why but uh, i'm talking about only restaurant side i'm not talking about out, outside the restaurant so the, the, the so the then i uh, so to get this you have to uh, identify a right uh, you know i banker so i i made sure uh, uh, the i banker should be from chennai because i feel comfortable speaking in tamil more than english there's uh, so that's why i took uh, I, uh, we chose i banker Uh, his name is Mr. Vinod Stilly. He is my grand uh, <coughs> godfather of the business. He advised me a lot last uh, two years. He was uh, advising me a lot, and I have to thank uh, Kavya also along with uh, Vinod. Then I went to a, a rigorous process of due diligence. So uh, due diligence is nothing but uh, you know uh, uh, the due diligence is done by a Deloitte uh, people. Uh, they came in they used to sit in six months at your place they will check all your books they will check you know, they they uh, even they will check your criminal records and everything so the entrepreneur should not have any criminal records before a fund, fund funds comes in if any criminal record is there uh, investor doesn't uh, even walk into your doors they'll step out and they'll say bye bye and go off so criminal records should not be there your uh, bookkeeping it should be pakka pakka wa maintain pannano your taxes tertiary dues ellame vandu pakkava vandu pay pandringala ellame correct ah so that's how due diligence help uh, uh, for them to you know uh, think whether we can invest in uh, this company or not so the, the, we were into uh, rigorous uh, process of due diligence uh, and successfully we raised the largest funding in tamil nadu based fnb company in 2009 so finally on 20th october 2019 uh, we raised this fund it came in hindu it came in economic times Uh, and this is the largest fund in restaurant industry itself i am very proud to say this absolutely i think it gave a, a huge uh, you know scope of uh, positivity for restaurant business when everybody were you know worried about what the future is going to be i think in that way pratish uh, you emerged as a leader for people uh, brands which are much Uh, you know, uh, uh, larger in the vegetarian category. But during that three-year strug- uh, struggle that we went through, such as up and downs and all that, yeah. there many times there are many challenges, right? Mm. Uh, different challenges, either once one time from the investor side, one time from the you know book side, one time from maybe the you know process or system side. Uh, mm. You know, what is the advice that you would give for anybody that is going in for private equity? What is the challenges they should expect, and how they should men- mentally prepare for that? Yeah. the challenges is that uh, see you should be very very uh, if you if you want to uh, get funded uh, you should be very uh, you know uh, jovial with not jovial uh, you know you should be you know we not very strict with uh, your uh, uh, investor you should allow your investor to be friendly with them make sure sh- don't show your stubborn character i'm the owner 
those kind of stuff. Be normal, friendly. Uh, and second thing is, <clears throat> uh, you, you should travel a lot along with them. So you should travel a lot along with your eye bankers to find a right uh, uh, investor. Uh, so I traveled in to Bombay, I traveled in Delhi. So most of the time where I keep traveling for last uh, uh, six months before uh, in, get, I got the investment. So you, you should be accept to ready to travel uh, along with the eye banker. So you should uh, always listen to your eye banker, what he says, change as what he say, says. You know, you should, if this book is not, if, you, if the revenue has to be grown in this, period then you try to achieve those revenue and those uh, and you know every, everything on EBITDA matters a lot so uh, so you have to take advice from him and uh, try to improve your EBITDA so that is the main thing uh, and third thing is uh, and fourth thing is uh, the you know you should be presentable to the investor Always be, uh, you know, uh, as soon as investor sees how uh, is this guy is very rough and tough or, uh, you know, those kind of thing, they look into it. So you should be always very calm, focused, and, you know, we have very subtle thing. And you have to speak along with the right banker, not speak alone. And you should accept, even they are also putting money, you should accept, the, uh, you know, the value. Uh, uh, they are also taking risk. So they, from their point of view also, you have to look into it. So whether this value is, you can't expect a bigger value. You know, uh, maybe uh, the, the restaurant business or this, uh, any business at present situation, uh, I don't know how the valuation is going to be now. Uh, but uh, some people lost their transaction because they're expecting more. So the expectation should be very less. It's a give and take policy should be there always in business. If you think if you're, if you're the owner and my value of the business is this, even the investor will think well, this is your value. So you have to come in such a way that, you know, you should come in the midpoint and then get this deal done. Not always, you know, expect more. So that most of the deal goes off like that because of that. Sure. So this, you know, you were looking to actually, you know, go in for the deal and uh, trying to select an iBanker. There was everybody in the country, right? Uh, whether KPMG or Deloitte or a lot of uh, yeah. leading players mostly, uh, people yeah. wanted to take our mandate. But you are clear about one thing that uh, I banker who takes up should actually be my customer and should love my biryani, right? Because yeah, uh, yeah. people didn't have that, you didn't want he, to. He uh, knows, he should know about my biryani a lot more than me. So uh, we know, knows uh, because he's from Chennai, we know, uh, tried our biryani. So he knows more about our biryani and he know how we work. So he's more of a good friend. So uh, thanks, uh, we know, sir, for this always. I have to thank him, you know? Yeah. So that I didn't give to all this uh, big people, big four. So I want uh, we know we know to handle this because you know, I'm very close to him. You should always give to someone who you trust, not uh, in, anyone who you know, goes behind money for this. And even in the investors, I think we had mandate uh, letters from multiple people, and yeah. uh, then finally, uh, I think uh, you had a uh, you know you had a particular decision where you said I don't want a financial investor i want somebody who can come and help my business so uh, grow forward so uh, how do what are the tips that you would give for uh, entrepreneurs in selecting an investor how can they select the right investor so like the way investor selects you you, are, you should also uh, select an investor uh, because uh, i got a, uh, a, a two investors were ready to invest on my brand so i chose to cx partner because the, uh, I don't want a financial investor to invest in my brand. I want a guy who knows the business, who, who, who run the business, who uh, scaled up the business. So those guys have invested. So I, I stuck with the CX partner is a good uh, investor for us. So the, uh, so you have to, you know, you should not think only the investor should give us finance and uh, uh, rest will take care. You have to get into in, look into investor who already worked in, those field and who established in those field, those kind of, it's very, you know, it is like a marriage. Your, your husband is a wife. So most, both should understand this and then get into this uh, bond as a, uh, you know, uh, as a company you should get into. At any point of time during the three years journey, you felt that it's too cumbersome. It might not happen. I'll drop this and just focus on my business, Satish. There are a lot of times I did. So I, that's why I, <laughs> As an entrepreneur, you know, you will be focused in always uh, 
uh, developing your brand, uh, establishing a brand, uh, we feel this, uh, you know, sometimes I lose my passion when people ask me a question because entrepreneur, you're not supposed to ask a question. That's what uh, my mind should be, uh, my mind was. Uh, entrepreneur should not be asked any more, any more question. So, so when people ask me question, then I, you know, first time somebody is asking me a question about my company, I'm running the company, how can I can answer this questions to you? So this whole thing which uh, came in between, uh, but uh, with uh, so my iBanker used to keep me, you know, keep your uh, uh, mouth shut in directly. Let me talk to him. Uh, so we always have a mediator. Is a uh, iBanker so, you know, so used to always talk be off me and uh, you know in anything I needed I pitch in uh, on details and everything. So you should allow your iBanker instead of you talking. So, uh, you know, because they, they know how to finish the deal better than anyone else. Right. I think uh, in deal front, there are a couple of questions that have come in on the de uh, uh, funding side. We'll just take that before we go to the next slide. There's uh, Satya Nadan Eil, who's asked a question. See, in your case, you have uh, already had an established brand and you have now made it a global brand. But what is, uh, but for a startup to pitch an idea to the uh, funders, what are the significant criteria you think they will look for for startups? For startup, uh, it's critical, sorry, ideas. Yeah. What, so, they, what uh, do the investors look for in a startup? First, yeah, you, you, you should be more uh, creative enough. Your product should be unique, first thing. Whether your product can be uh, can, can accepted by, by India uh, as a pan India, they can accept your product, or worldwide they can accept your product. And whether your product can be can be scaled up uh, so fast rapidly. And third thing, uh, what is my return on investment if I invest in your business? So this all the uh, parameters. Uh, uh, like uh, if you take an example uh, for Talapagati, if you put money uh, in another one, one to one and a half years, you will take back your investment. So that is uh, attractive for investors to invest in your product. So my product has been, uh, for example, in with Talapagati, the biryani, before they invest in my uh, company, they took our biryani sample uh, uh, in Pan India all over the places. Like uh, they tested in Kolkata with few uh, people around 50 people were called and sample testing was done and few people in uh, they took to Andhra Pradesh they took, took to Telangana and Kerala so the most of the so what we have decided looking at the survey uh, Talapagati Biryani has been accepted, accepted towards more of south okay what is the population of south what is the business down south so that's based on that they uh, give us evaluation if it's accepted in pan India there is a different uh, uh, so that's how we are. so it is based on you you should be having a unique Klapagate is a unique product because when most of the biryani is served in Basmati rice we served your cereal sambar very rapidly you can expand and what is uh, if I put money what is your return on investment there's a question yeah there's a question from Arjun uh, he asks, like, um, you know, uh, you have grown from one store to the 200 crore mark very fast. What are the top three factors that you would attribute to the growth? Top three factors. Yeah. Okay. As I said uh, uh, earlier, uh, so you should uh, always uh, <clears throat> fix a goal to yourself. What is your goal? To establish your uh, brand uh, worldwide and make a plan, list down what is the plan okay, well, this year, what I'm going to do, next year, what I'm going to do, third year. So you should have a clear-cut plan for next five years, what you're planning to do, and put yourself, you put yourself into that plan, put yourself into the shoe, and drive drive those plan into, uh, you know, uh, to execute that plan. So you have to uh, put yourself, yourself to execute that plan. So for la next five years, I'm going to execute this. So that's how uh, uh, we can we can do it. So I'll go to the next slide now, Satish. Yeah. So what uh, what is this, uh, special about DT? Why people invest in D DT? It's uh, uh, it is as an attractive CAGR and the growth rates best in the industry. So we grow in another uh, every year thirty five percent. 
uh, every year 35 percent is our growth rate we have a strong regional performer with attractive growth potential so if if i open uh, my brand in uh, uh, even watanjatram or watalangudo it has a strong regional presence so people know about my brand so uh, when people uh, uh, come to come to invest in your uh, business how strong uh, your brand is they feel uh, they want to see how strong is your brand whether people know your brand and value for money so my if you take about value why i'm talking about this value for money is if a average person uh, we call it apc uh, we spend around 350 rupees per bill uh, average per bill is 350 rupees when we are vegetarian if in chennai uh, if you eat it it's 250 rupees so if we are giving a cheaper pro, uh, product which is a quality product with a cheaper price so that's a value for money uh, so 350 rupees 300 to 350 rupees people don't mind spending so we are catering the middle class people it's always uh, uh, we are catering to a large segment of people in that scaled up heritage brand with unique product offering always a brand should carry a heritage recipe, uh, heritage story to it so again my brand has a heritage story of which started when it started why your product is uh, famous and those kind of stories have already been there uh, uh, that made uh, investor more attractive to your uh, investments you know attractive unit economics so as i said roi when you put money into a business how long it's going to take it's going to take five years to get back money or it's going to take one year to get back money or it's going to take five months to get back money so so that's how so my they put money because i can uh, we can repay the investor within a one and a half uh, uh, years that's a repayment terms which uh, looks very attractive to investor low failure rate so i've never closed any of the restaurant till now there's no failure rate uh, of our restaurants every uh, Every restaurant makes profit out of it. So every uh, uh, every store has a EBITDA margin of 20%, 25% of uh, store EBITDA margin. So that makes a very strong clear point for us. Strong return ratio and cash flow. So we can we manage our business with our own cash flow. Only a uh, uh, few uh, few percentage borrowed money which we have borrowed. So we have a strong cash flow. So investor will look into all those points before coming investing into your business. Oh, so at this point, I'll take one more question from a uh, uh, good friend, Gilbert. Gilbert is there on this uh, on this uh, uh, conference, and he's asking. So you've been very successful at picking the restaurant locations, right? Ninety nine percent, it's been right. I think we hardly yeah. closed uh, Talapagati restaurant. So retail location is the most important. So having picked up the right location for your restaurants on almost all location, what's the template or learning which can be replicated for other F and B brands from seeing Talapagati? Hello. Voila. Ah, yeah. yeah. So, Can what you, is the yeah. technique well, of sorry. what he asks? Uh, as, uh, see, uh, I normally uh, uh, pick a location, it uh, should be a corner uh, plot. So, uh, whenever I go to, so I study in London, most of if you go O2, O2 it's a mobile uh, store. They have a corner property, or if you go to KFC, also they walk around. They have a corner property. So most of my store, if you see, in um, most of the stores, which if you see, mostly in uh, mine will be a corner property, and uh, mostly in I Street. So I always believe the brand should be on I Street within, uh, or it should not be within the street. So I uh, give more important for uh, selecting the location. I keep traveling a lot, a lot of places before I select or sign any location. See uh, what is the population, and uh, I, I like to be among the brand. Um, if uh, there is a lot of uh, retail chains out there, so my location is fixed. So I have to be there, kind of thing. Next slide. Uh, this was uh, the survey which uh, uh, people, uh, the investor has taken. Uh, just a sample survey which I'm telling you uh, before uh, investing into a business. So uh, as I said, it is a value-driven business. Uh, we are targeting only the customer over uh, 40,000 to 45, uh, uh, who's earning 45 to 45K per month. Mostly two-wheelers, few, few, uh, only few car people we are targeting on. So this customer behavior is uh, very important where uh, our customer pattern uh, to telepagati is two to five times a month 
uh, and largely consumed by uh, biryani lovers and uh, who, who are traditionalist we are called as and as i said it is a apc of uh, 350 uh, is our uh, ta- uh, apc is 350 uh, for uh, per, per person and if you come around uh, uh, social media followers so even they look into the, how fa- well your facebook is uh, how you are uh, rated in zomato how you are rated in other international markets like TripAdvisor, Google. And uh, most of the review, uh, reviews which I have got is mostly because of waiting, more waiting in the crowd, uh, during the peak hours. Uh, that, that is the most of the customer complaint on. And if you see our uh, brand is, uh, as a 60% of uh, loyal customer, repeat customer there. So this is all the, uh, if, I, if we put in simple thing, it is a food, if you see uh, the dark one is uh, Tlapagetti, uh, food variety is 4.5 when compared to other uh, brands, 4.6 in taste, uh, value for money is 4.2, food hygiene is 4.5, services is 4.5, ambience is 4.4, customer rating is 4.4, and location, like what the last question was, location is also 4.4. So these are the uh, criteria of people look into when before investing. So these are the uh, brands uh, has been uh, invested company and uh, where we fall in, if you see, uh, so revenue wise, people, how many people, uh, whether people like your brand, yes. Whether they have a strong economic unit, yes. Strong management team, yes. Scalable brand, I told you about the scalability, yes. This Telepagati as a brand to scale uh, uh, in South, so South India especially and uh, very strong product. Yes, I, I told uh, spoke, we spoke about the biryani, and we 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 are not concentrating all the product. We are focused only in biryani. Not so that's why it's called unique product. Single brand focus. We are not diversified into pizza, or we are not diversified into Chinese restaurant. So there are brands which uh, diversify into different brands, like uh, uh, like they create a Chinese uh, brand. They create a North Indian brand. So you should be focused in single uh, brand and try to you know, you know develop those brands. And uh, reasonable valuation, or you're asking for reasonable valuation. So these are the criteria they are looking to before investing into you. So at present, uh, we, have, we have 70 plus restaurant. We have presence in uh, Dubai, France, USA, Malaysia. We have uh, you, uh, Malaysia two restaurants. We have in Singapore two restaurants. Sri Lanka, we are open and successfully going to restaurants. And we are planning soon in Hong Kong and London. Because of Corona, uh, we have to think about it. So I'll get back to you that later, Bala, on that. Okay. And at present, we... <laughs> At present, we have two 2,500 uh, employees uh, working for us. So employees are uh, got to us. So we have to take care of employees. 25 cities uh, at present, we are present in uh, ROT and most of the cities we are covered. And Bangalore, uh, we, are, we, are, we have at present, we are uh, seven restaurants in Bangalore. Uh, we are serving around 50,000 plus biryanis uh, every day we are serving. I'm not, not, I'm not talking about this corona. Uh, thing I before know, Corona. <laughs> no, nobody serving. Only in the home, home we are having. So. Yeah. So, so what? This is our uh, uh, plan. How we are going to expand? Uh, uh, so, if you see a darker side, so we are going to already. We are in Tamil Nadu. So, uh, we are at uh, present. We are forty-five in uh, our uh, Tamil Nadu. So, we, which we are going in two twenty-four. We are going to be uh, seventy-one. Karnataka at present. We are seven. Soon we'll be opening 25. So this is all the expansion plan which we have it till you know plan till uh, 24 financial year of 24. Number of stores we are planning. So as I said, uh, there is a great opportunity for us uh, to uh, rapidly expand our brand in other uh, countries uh, and pan India. So that's why I, I was looking for the funding. So and want to expand, want to bring in the professional guys to be in our uh, uh, business. So then uh, getting into technology, we have, we have a good CRM uh, 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 software now, and we are bringing, uh, we already have a SAP uh, backend, we are controlling everything with SAP. Uh, so we are bringing, adapting into new technologies.
that is uh, not my slide i think it's uh, bala slide <laughs> <laughs> so i i am a, a traveler i have traveled a lot of countries i am a health freak i have a, a gym at my home uh, so i love to cook i uh, my fitness is my second uh, uh, always i uh, after my work i without uh, my gym without going to my gym i won't sleep so that's my few photos of my travel and my gymming photos so just we wanted to understand a little bit about you personally satish that's right okay so we'll uh, now thank uh, you thank you thank you satish thank you for taking us through your journey i think you've been elaborate like never before and so, uh, sorry i would, i don't want to bore you guys that's why i finished it a little bit short uh, <laughs> we have some questions satish so we'll just quickly take the questions that um, the audience uh, has put up yeah one second so um how was uh, you know now that the funding has come in everybody knows that fund uh, investor has settled down yeah. how has it been post investment satish how has life changed you yeah, think it was bad <laughs> so we had uh, good plans uh, most of the plans uh, would have been succeeded uh, if corona would have not happened uh, so we were lined up for another 15 more restaurants which we already gave the advance and pipe it was a working work was on pipeline so now uh, uh, the thing is that what we are planning is to get into a lot of uh, uh, cloud kitchen we uh, one we are getting into cloud kitchen so next 6 to 1 year it's going to be more of uh, delivery and take away uh, so we are uh, and we are cutting down most of the menus so that uh, uh, keep uh, very simple and crisp uh, the menus has been cut and third uh, we are which all all uh, we have a larger space like 200 seating with 150 seating we are cutting down those seats into maximum 50 seaters so we are trying to cut down the cost uh, by uh, uh, space we are cutting down mostly in the space and we are shifting our uh, brand to a clouded kitchen brand now and so how is how was the experience being uh, post you know investors coming on board professionals joining how was the transition how have you managed it how was the your team handling it what's your experience i am happy that uh, cx has uh, been part of my uh, present journey uh, because most of my workload has been uh, shared uh, with them you know every day we are in call we are sharing things uh about uh, other uh, restaurants other how other people are performing so those are intelligence which i can't get it uh, being me being being myself so those are thing which i'm sharing on them getting a, you know a focused on other uh, side also other side of the story and third thing is um, so before i used to run for uh, uh, money finance then i have to run for a uh, lot of things you know even looking for the place even uh, because uh, i don't have my brothers or i don't have my uh, sisters to take care so i am only one son that person uh, so i have to run for everything uh, so now everything has been shared uh, uh, accounts i have to see finance i have to see uh, hr i have to take care of hr you know any problem related of employees they'll come before me you know those kind of so now i can concentrate more on uh, product development uh, what all new and second thing is i can focus on bringing new technology i want to bring automated uh, uh, cooking process for uh, uh, biryani which semi automated now so i want to have a chain of uh, a cook, uh, cooking cooking process which i can concentrate now i can spend my time more into uh, doing other stuffs uh, so uh, uh, south indian filter pop that is here he is asking you what are the top 3 employee retention strategy that you follow like uh, this is a employee oriented industry so how do you retain your employees what are your tips for that ah that, that's a very good question uh, bala uh, see most of the employees uh, at present they are working with me they worked along uh, with my grandfather and they worked with my father and now the last three generation they are working with me so one thing we have to be very friendly very very friendly you should take care of them as a family member uh the ways you can do the business without them you can do the business uh, second thing is you have always have to uh, incentivize them i'm not talking about the money i'm talking about your, your uh, appraisal you i'm talking about price them 
you know uh, you're doing good I, I can make it better for better instead of you know and pay their salary on right time don't even if you get into loss don't think about paying them just pay your salary on right time this all things they have, they will stay back with you always treat them like a family you know that's it that's a one line yeah there's a question yeah. from kishore t he's saying uh, is it still profitable by doing online business after paying a huge commission to online uh, aggregators how do you handle online business yeah you can't make a uh, uh, profit uh, out of uh, online business uh, but uh, so there are two things you can't uh, sell your price same price what you sell in uh, your restaurant to the online people so if you want to uh, sell your product in uh, online you have to price the what commission you are you're going to pay right that commission has to be raised in your bill itself because uh, if you sell it in your uh, same price in like your restaurant then you make end up on making loss for that particular product so you have to always raise the bill uh, before uh, 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 going into online aggregators uh, that's the conundrum right if you, you can raise the price if your brand is strong so if you your brand is not strong then if you raise the price then you know there'll always be pressure from swiggy and zomato saying that hey your competitor is this price and you can't you won't get the billing so i think building on the brand is something that yeah. is most important along with you know yeah, yeah. raising the price yeah so um, uh, there's a question from jagdeeshwaran ayer uh, so he has multiple questions but one of the things i would like to take out is so when post this covid uh, whatever expansion that you've committed are you cutting down on expansion in some way any projects that are underway and all that yeah i have cut down a lot of projects uh, uh, bala uh, i have cut down uh, actually i told uh, 15 projects have been pipeline which has been cut down At present only uh, only two three projects we are taking we are moving more into cloud kitchen the, there is a sugi uh, uh, cloud kitchen there is zomato cloud kitchen at present we are getting into more into that which we are not planning before now the next six months it's, it's going to be more of a, a take away on online sales so there, there is no other choice to get into this so um, agnes another friend from bangalore he has a question so he says how do you how is your investors seeing this situation they have just come in now it's really 6 months how are they see, uh, seeing this covid situation and you know what are their thoughts okay uh, so as uh, this uh, brand is already very strong in south region so the investor uh, i've seen the ta- uh, focus more on uh, the taste of getting money in tier two cities so what's their uh, they are very happy that uh, even if i open in watlangundu it's running it's a small village uh, if i open in palani it's running so we, they are very happy with the plan uh, as the for the tapati as a brand they are very happy because most of the brands which are expanding are only in metro cities are been successful so if they plan to uh, move into tier 2 tier 3 cities they were not successful where in as a talapakatti even tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 city till uh, we have been successful brand so that's that's the uh, you know mantra of uh, why people uh, invest in tapak satish so, uh, so far nobody has done a, from a regional food brand nobody has done an ipo i know you know there are plans uh, with the investor Uh, for for an ipo 3 4 years down the line post this covid scenario so how do you see uh, you know what do you see uh, as the future next 4 years 5 years how it's going to be and when do you see yourself uh, launching an ipo uh see next uh, before covid uh, we were planning for next 4 years we we want to go into ipo so the plan was to get into ipo next 4 years uh, that's uh, we were laying our plans for that uh, but, but unfortunately this covid uh, and uh, so we have to hold back and look into and uh, we we'll, let's see what the plan for us so not now i can't and now uh, now now i have to maintain the cash flow uh, company should not end up in uh, loss so cash flow has to be there sustained so that's now our priority is to maintain the cash flow at present so uh, there is so there are a lot of entrepreneurs in this uh, you know yeah. uh, this thing what is your a top 3 tips or advice that you would give for entrepreneurs for success your success mantra yeah so uh, top 3 tips is uh, one you, you have to it, it is like uh, for example it is like uh, doing a gym because 
right to the gym uh, so when you want to build your body uh, you, have, you so that is your goal so you have to set your goal what is my goal to build your body is my goal and then you have to plan so how i'm going to uh, do 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 the body building what i'm going to do on tuesday or monday tuesday wednesday tuesday monday is going to be my chest that's my plan tuesday is going to be uh, my shoulders thursday is going to be my leg training section so that's you are making a plan so that business also has a plan what is there for first year second year third year so once the plan is laid in your paper or once the plan is laid then you have to start executing so monday i'll start doing it my gym monday i will start uh, my chest so for that you should uh, before convincing yourself you have to have your protein for that you can't just uh, do a gym and get your body so you should have your protein so you should execute that so once you execute that you know uh, that's a three mantra so goal plan and execute keep your goal plan and execute you told it in uh, relating it to your fitness itself. yeah yeah and um, you know uh, see one of the things in your journey is you've never you know franchised out vertical telepathy so what was the reason that you did not want to franchise and how it has actually helped you and what were the benefits in having just a own store no i don't believe in franchising because uh, i have seen a lot of brands have uh, lost their control when you franchise or uh, even uh, most of the brands as uh their, their name is not been uh, it's erased from uh, the industry itself uh, because of uh, brand uh, franchising i feel uh, franchising in uh, retail is okay in clothing is okay but back, back in food you have to maintain your core uh, because your product is uh, unique uh, uh, so that is very important and moreover this uh, when you franchise uh, the turnover everything doesn't fall under your company it falls under different uh, companies you know uh, so every when you build a brand and when you build a business and you have to build your turnover to create a value for the business so the uh, uh, so the, uh, when you create a value uh, for the business you need a turnover you need uh, everything for that, you know so that is one thing which uh, that's why i don't want to uh, franchise one because of building a turnover second is uh, uh, you, you, you can't control the fr- uh, fr- franchises uh, uh, because your product is unique you want to keep your product secrecy maintain it sure. and, th- and that's uh, franchising uh, doesn't you know uh, uh apply. i don't think which uh, franchise in uh, the restaurant industry it's not suitable it's a risky thing so risky thing especially for indian uh, you know, yeah indian for for uh, restaurants yeah so there's an interesting question from kadar he's from uh, down south ramanadapuram he says you know he's part of his family business uh, which is in metal store and uh, there's a lot of resistance from elders for him to prove himself in the business and chart out his own path so you have also had similar experience what is the advice you would give him for that uh what business is in metal metal metal, metal. family business store yeah sir avanga solra solvanga namma da pandradhu pannu so enga appa vandu ene vandu sonnaru idu ponada adu ponada nu adha solli na innikku vandu na appa epovume na vandu i think uh, my competition is not other brand i always think my competition is my dad so i want to always prove my dad that i am better than you so appa solradho unga solradho just get it uh ninge uh, vandu just come out of your you know ring just expand whatever you planning super great so uh, satish um, now we hear i kept the question to the last we hear a lot about covid covid corona and all that so how is dindigal talapagatti gearing up post covid in a, what are the steps you are taking at restaurant level in marketing in products how do you bring back people to non veg and to dine in as well so if you can elaborate on that post covid there are a lot of restaurant entrepreneurs who want to understand you know yeah so for, for first step uh, we uh, for uh, for covid uh, covid or after covid wala uh, it is post covid after covid okay post covid after lockdown uh, post- after lockdown open you have see uh, as per government uh, regulations you have to follow the government uh, regulations social distancing is must uh, you have to mark your space outside your restaurant that is you have to check your uh, employee temperature before he is entering 
uh, into it. So you should have a hygiene manager. So every uh, restaurant now, uh, I, uh, I employ a hygiene, hygiene manager where uh, he check on temperature uh, on customers. If, uh, you should not allow customers just to walk in because it will it is going to affect your uh, employees also. You should uh, test all your customer temperature before he walks in. And even the <coughs> aggregators, uh, drivers, uh, those people temperature has to be checked compulsively uh, and then you should uh, wear a mask people should uh, wear a mask and uh, you should mark even the works uh, workplace also you should uh, mark a social distancing um, wearing a gloves wearing a mask using hand sanitizer before anything it's compulsory and the seating arrangement should be at least minimum six feet away from each table uh, table to table should be minimum six feet uh, uh, at present, uh, we already uh, did, uh, did it with few of our restaurants. We are uh, because uh, May, if uh, God uh, raises us, uh, May third, uh, if you open, uh, it's my restaurant is set for uh, dining. At present, we already made the seating arrangement, less six feet uh, social distancing, and uh, customer is main thing. You have to check your customer before he enters. So. Um... One of the things, and what is your, you know, how do you think technology should be used in, uh, you know, post-COVID? You know, they're saying that there is this contactless restaurants and all that. So Talapakati is planning something around that. Yeah, contactless delivery, right? Contactless restaurant, even not touching the menu, not touching the, uh, you know, credit card machine. Yes, yes. Uh, present, uh, we tied up with uh, uh, technology-wise. Uh, we are getting into uh, QR code menus. Uh, where a uh, customer can come in, uh, there's no captains or waiters to take the orders. You can just uh, scan the QR code and you can take down the orders and uh, orders will directly go into kitchen. And from kitchen, uh, uh, only just uh, uh, waiter will come and serve your food. And uh, when he doesn't speak to you, it's a, through all uh, through uh, mobile. It, all the conversation will happen. Uh, once you serve the food, you have to go away from you. Every conversation is going to happen uh, to, uh, inside the mobile itself. So QR, uh, uh, you know, which we are, we are bringing in, uh, gateway also we are uh, uh, getting inside the QR menu where customer doesn't go to pay uh, his uh, bill through credit card or cash. It is everything built in-house uh, uh, QR system model. So, uh, Satish, uh, one question uh, for uh, the, the benefit of the audience who are, uh, you know, tomorrow we are having a Go Digital, uh, you know, uh, webinar, which is actually a two-day course uh, certified by MMA and RAI. So, you are one of the first restaurants to completely go digital, you know, with Talapagati Radio plus social media actively and all that. So, what's your advice to, uh, you know, entrepreneurs who are starting off? How should they handle social and digital? Uh, uh, see, uh, so Talapakati, uh, I believe in uh, technology. So you have to uh, ad adapt to your uh, technology, which is uh, adapt to a new technology at present. Uh, it's there, or you'll be uh, out of the box. So you have to get adapted to what is at present. Uh, second, a uh, backend system. Your backend system at present, what we use as SAP, a backend should system should be strong. It has to give you a, a throw out the analytical data as what you want. Uh, without those data. Uh, you, you you can't expand in, uh, your business. And third thing is CRM is uh, compulsory. Most restaurant doesn't uh, utilize that. Uh, they buy it and keep it. And this loyalty program, even not only for retail industry, it is for uh, even a restaurant industry. So if you walk into my restaurant, uh, uh, as soon as the captain will ask you, what is your uh, mobile number, what is your uh, name, and the whole customer data you're getting it, you're in, you can interact with your customer. So those, those are the technology we have to inbuilt and bring in to the industry. And uh, so this is all the thing, the, the, the investor will like it. So how technology uh, freak you are, how, uh, how you're running your uh, business as, uh, in new, te new, new technology. So this all uh, attractiveness you can uh, bring into the business for the future fundraising. Sure. So I'll just share the benefit of the audience. Uh, so we are having this Go Digital webinar tomorrow and day after. Uh, we'll kind of put up topics together which actually will help you in your business, how to set up your digital channels, how to set up your assets, acquire customers, increase your sales, how to transact, 
you know, do commerce online and how to engage and keep them and grow the business through channels like CR and, and all that as well. And also tips on how you can manage digital campaign. Even though you have an agency, you would need to actually know a little bit about this in order to effectively manage. So this is happening tomorrow uh, and day after, three hours tomorrow, three to six and uh, day after three to six. And this is, uh, again, we have key resource people. We have a, the co-founder of Jabong, uh, Mr. Mukul Pafna joining us. Then we have Santosh Palavesh who's doing the whole course for us together. And this is now available for you at a special price only for the attendees of today at 1499. So uh, people who want, I am just want to join this course. I am just uh, sharing the, you know, uh, link in which you can, you know, go to the course and access it and become a participant. So anyone wanting to use the facility, please use it. Next one hour, it's available at 1499 for the benefit of us today so satish uh, yeah. we have had an interesting chat and uh, so uh, i think i would like to end it by asking you know uh, what what are your thoughts how are you going to spend your time going forward now i know that you know you have multiple people to help you in uh, talapakati so how how are you going to spend your time of course you are spending a lot of time uh, in your uh, gym i understand that so <laughs> apart from that what are your other interests and uh, you know how have you planned your next 5 years for your life? Next five years, uh, Bala, I present uh, uh, see, uh, the lot of, uh, uh, I'm working on more on uh, uh, technology part. I want to learn a lot of uh, food tech uh, side, you know, uh, yeah, attend a lot of seminars into that. So uh, next five years is going to be how uh, biryani can be automized how, uh, uh, without chefs, even uh, how can we can run this uh, process. So that's uh, my uh, goal. Uh, I'm working towards that. Uh, see, in fu future, it's going to be a labor. Uh, it's it's a labor incentive business. But in future, what is going to happen? So you, you have to prepare for that now also. So learn. Uh, there are a lot of uh, food technology books which is available in the market, and you can really automate those uh, process uh, uh, into your. You can uh, you can do it. You know. Technology, technology, technology is the mantra now. Yeah, next. technology. Yeah, you have to reduce the labor. Yeah. That's so. It's going to be costly, right? So labor coming to labor. There's an interesting question from Nitya Kotari. He asks uh, us uh, that uh, hi, Nitya. So he asks us that during the shutdown times when there's no business and no sales happening, how are you know uh, large companies holding on to you know employees? Large companies. Large companies, how are they? So, employees? Because they'll be having a huge number of employees. Like you have 2,500 employees. I'm sure you've not had the same yeah. much sale for the last one and a half months. So how are you managing to hold on to them? Have, a, have you let go of anybody? Have you reduced salaries? What is the No, actually, we have not reduced anyone's salary. Uh, so the thing about, uh, there are a few people working with us at present uh, in our uh, restaurant. Uh, around 900 people we are working. So we are paying them salary. We have still we run a delivery business. Still we run a uh, takeaway business. Uh, in few in few days we are going to start our also. So people are working with us. So we are going to pay full salary to them. Uh, and people who have because of COVID before uh, without informing us the, that uh, the board has to decide what uh, we have to do with them. So for people who are working with us, uh, uh, we are paying a full salary to them. Thank you, Satish. Thank you a lot for joining. Us. Thank you, Bala. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for joining us. Thank you, um, attendees. I hope to see you soon, uh, sometime during the next uh, event. And in case you guys are logging on to uh, tomorrow's uh, Go Digital, you can find the you know link here again for your benefit. Thanks a lot. Have a great evening. Uh, thanks, Satish. Thank you. Voila. Ah, Satish, I'll call you.